today, I will be sharing to you my favorite techniques in sketching. And, yup, this might improve your drawing skills better than before. As an artist, we may not notice this because this technique is known for ages now and it's all about the quality of your line art. So the secrets to enhance your line art is to focus on drawing the curve lines. I might be crazy but curve lines are so powerful when it comes in sketching and I've been using this like for some weeks now and it actually improved my line art in just a couple of weeks. This technique is commonly used by masters like my favorite artists such as Eliza, Louis, Kim jong gi and Karl Kopinski. The curve lines are mostly can be found in their drawings and also that includes with Disney characters or AI generated pictures. So if you want to improve your drawing skills 10 times better than before, you should more often use this method for sketching because this is so effective and important. So in order to practice the curve lines, there are some techniques you should follow. Okay, the number one is loose lines. I personally struggle with loose lines as well, but loose lines actually helps me a lot to visualize quickly my subject. To do this, just use your entire arm for bigger drawings. And for the small sketch, just use your wrist. And to practice the loose lines, just create a gesture line based on the movement of your subject. Okay, I done this a lot. Avoid getting caught up with the details using the initial stage. Just focus on the broader strokes. Be confident with your lines. If you're like me, have a line art like this, and this, and this. Okay, a pro tip to fix that. Just use inks. I'm afraid to say this, but I was really bad at inking. But I tried as much as possible to practice it again, to be more confident with my lines, but it was really hard at first to get used to it. And so that, I practiced and I practiced for days and I finally got it. Some of my drawings every day using just inks are not really that bad. In my opinion, I would say I'm really proud of it because I seen the curve lines are so very effective in my line art and so I encourage you to you guys just to focus on drawing the curve lines and try it out for yourself because this can be a life changing for you to get better at sketching. This way of drawing is commonly used by masters and as of even now, I can't even imagine how even so possible to draw like them. Maybe their secret sauce is by always practicing or being consistent or maybe it's because of their line art. I observed this many times in their illustrations and what I learned in their art is the personality of the character that is filled with curved lines. And yup, simple as that. I just found this recently and when I tried in my art, my sketching skills is improved a lot since. And they always vary the line thickness of the line art based on the curve line using with brush pens.
Okay, avoid hatching like this. Instead, hatch a curve line based on the contour lines of your subject. So if you do this every time, I promise you, your line art and the hatching technique will be better 10 times if you just use curve lines. Also, when executing a line, make sure every strokes are with the purpose and confidence rather than hesitating. Just trust your instincts and avoid overthinking each line. Find the balance between your reference and imagination. In the artistic realm, finding the balance between your reference and imagination is always sticky. While reference provide a solid foundation, they are a launchpad for imaginative exploration, embrace the interplay, allowing your creativity to elevate and transform the reference into a unique and personalized expression of your vision. So in short, make your reference more expressive or make it more stylized based on what you like. I'm doing this for a year now and I gotta say, this changed the way I draw my portraits. So for those wondering what app I'm using to gather all of my reference and inspiration, this app is called Milanote. If you haven't heard Milanote, this is an amazing app where you can brainstorm your ideas, plan your script, storyboards, and many more. I just started using this app because I could now basically break down my routine in just a simple ways. So here's my day in the life in 2024 with the use of Milanote's app. So usually, I started my morning routine Waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning with some coffee, no sugar. From 8 to 11, I answer some of my emails, writing my script for YouTube, and when my script is now ready, it is important to have a shot list, which is Milanote has already have a lots of templates for that. You just need to add some of the images and every scenes of your story, which is also great for clients' projects. So why my boards look like this? It is because whether I'm filming, I could just look some inspiration for other filmmaker scenes. So it is very useful if you're running out of ideas. Okay, for the night routine. This is how I make my boards using Milanotes app for my art studies. I break down my boards into two categories using Milanotes app. The category one is this is where I gather all of my reference, compiling that into whole board collage. Just focus on the subject that you want to study by just dragging that into Mila Notes app. My board's kinda messy but I love how I could easily visualize to pick my next illustration. Okay, for the next category number 2, this whole collage is where I download and gather some of my favorite artist illustration. So when I draw, it is important to have a board like this because this is where you will base your illustration and style that you want on your drawing. I've been using the Mila Note for some weeks now and it's been really useful for me, especially for my art studies like this. So this is so useful if you're an artist. And if you want an app where you can easily break down your plans, have a clear visualization, brainstorming, and writing your ideas, Mila Note is completely free with no time limit. Link in my description below. So a big thanks to Mila Note for sponsoring this video. Okay, for the last one is slow and steady always wins the race. Slowing things are not actually a bad thing when it comes on art. As you may not know, I watch a lot of live drawings of Kim Jong Gi, and I noticed that he's not rushing his drawings at all. Even that, he did a good job creating a lot of amazing drawings using his brush pens with confidence. Rushing things can be good, but it can be also a bad thing. So just take your time and focus on the movement because the speed will come naturally with practice, but precision is always stucky. Just don't be afraid to start slow and gradually build up your speed. I always eagerly to draw fast the way I draw in the past, but I surprised I realized that slow and steady are the best thing rather than rushing things. 
So I'm not saying 100% I recommend you this way of drawing because we have different ways of drawing style when it comes in this matter. But as of my experience of using the curved lines, it actually changed my way of drawing my line art and shadings. And every time I sketch like a figure subject, I could now easily break down my subject into shapes in the way I wanted. So yeah, I think that's all folks. All I wanted to say that all the tips that I gave to you is very effective and I'm not gatekeeping this one for my own benefit because this technique is known for a decade now and I just wanted to share it to you as a reminder that the curve lines might be the best for you to smoothen your stiff sketch like mine. So just remember, always take your time and take a breath in every drawing that you pour into and as it always, see you for the next one. Bye.